Culturecast. It's your boy Foley. What's up, Culturecast? What's up, Culturecast? Uh, hey, Culturecast. <laughs> hey, Culturecast. <laughs> What's up, guys? What's up? What's, What's up, up, guys? <laughs> Welcome to the second installment of Culture Cast. Happy here Halloween Radford. here from Culture Cast. I know everyone's excited about Halloween. Today is Halloween. Wait, when is this going up, then? Oh. Like November or something. Whoa. Wait, you know what that means, though? What's it mean? Merry, Merry Christmas, Christmas, guys! <laughs> We're just gonna skip Thanksgiving for a second. Yes, Thanksgiving isn't a thing. Like, it's it's Easter, summer, Halloween, Christmas. Christmas. And then depression for three months. Yeah. And then school's out. So let's get to this Chris Brown album real quick. Chris Brown's new album has 45 songs on it. It Who? is two hours and 43 minutes. Who has time to listen to that? When is the last time he even like made a song? 2008? Here's what you could do in the two hours and 43 minutes it could take to listen to Chris Brown's album. You could get halfway home, hug your mother. You could listen to Blonde two and a half times. <laughs> you could you could watch the new Blade Runner movie and you still wouldn't be like close to finishing this album. As you know, Culturecast won smashing success. <laughs> One of the most popular podcasts ever recorded. Um, but you know, we've been handling this fame pretty well, I would say. Yeah, you know, yeah. We just keep getting spotted on campus. It's, it's like, yo, it, you're the dudes from Culture Cast, it's, right? It's like, I know. It's I hard know. to be seen together. Um, but with this success, there have been some negative things that happen. And as if you follow me on Instagram, you saw we have a fake, we have a new Culture Cast. You are listening to the first episode of the Culture Cast. Yo, wait a minute. Did you come up with that or did I come up with that? I actually came up with that. Huh. Uh, but anyways, that's not the point. The point. Everyone's trying to copy. Everyone There's wants a, some of the fame. So I, I guess these guys are like bodybuilders or something. But the point. The point. we uploaded Culturecast October 3rd and we got like 170 views. These people uploaded Culturecast October 11th and they're up to 15,000 views. Now, what do we, what do we do about this? We don't have the money. <laughs> we don't have the clout. This guy has, what's this guy's hairline up to? His <laughs> hairline doesn't even want to be on the show. Um, the real Culture Cast official statement is to please either delete your channel or rename the show. All right, so we asked our beloved fans to write in, you know, this was their chance. We gave you guys a chance to be featured on the show and give some input. We're gonna take a look at those and respond to them. Andrew Celio asks, I think that you should lift your ban on Jordan Speller from Culturecast. Not happening, um, he disrespected me. He also writes, I also think that Carl Nettie could beat you in an arm wrestling match. Big if true. Big if true. All right, you wanna test it? You wanna go? All right, let's do it. Ready? Now let's take a look at our YouTube comments. Leona Mullen writes, I bet Carl wears loafers. Hashtag roast Carl. It's true though. I he occasionally does. do wear loafers when the, when the time calls for it. The other comment we got from uh, Basim says, I have nothing bad to say about Carl. I like Carl with a smiley face. I like you too, Basim. Thanks for writing in though. Jordan Speller, oh, nope. <laughs> can't read that, can't read that. Jordan Speller's off the yeah. show. Done, done. All right, so next up for this segment, we have uh, our friend Keely recently moved out to the West Coast. So we asked her to report day, on things that she's been experiencing out there and various stuff like that. You know, so. we're, we're the culture cast, but we're pretty limited with our East Coast perspective. Yeah, so, yeah. so we asked her to chime in on some of the West Coast to lifestyle. Send, talk about her experiences and uh, what's it like on the West Coast. Keep a gold chain on my neck, fly as a jet, boy better treat me with respect. <laughs> a day in the life of Keely Hudson. That's my blood. It's pretty different out here than back home in Virginia. Um, I don't know, it's like a whole new bubble. There's like a lot of desert and cactuses and like, even in like my dorm area, there's like this um, 
like courtyard area where there's like little critters like lizards and stuff running around <laughs> it's kind of cool um i don't know i know it's pretty cold back or it's getting cold back home which is weird because it's literally 90 here every day still in october um which kind of sucks i'm jealous that i can't wear my sweaters and jeans and stuff like you guys you're lucky oh oh my god okay the kid from vine where that girl blows smoke out of her mouth at the party and he goes oh wow <laughs> He goes to my school. It was I found that out the other day and it was so cool. John texted me, he was all excited. That's all I got for you today. But I'm so excited to be on Culture Cast. John finally let me do it. So I'm hyped, but yeah. Bye. Keep a gold chain on my neck, fly as a jet. Boy, better treat me with respect. So for our next topic, uh, we kinda didn't know what to talk about, so uh, we found this website that actually like finds a topic for us. So you basically just click a button and it gives you a random uh, conversation starter. So I'm gonna do this right now, ready? Would you rather not be able to use your hands or not be able to walk? Um, walk. Cause with a wheelchair, you well, know. Well like, do I have nubs for hands or like, can I just not use them? Like, tie behind your back. Yeah, I'd probably rather not be able to walk. Or just paralyze. Yeah, cause with a wheelchair, like, I mean, you, how you get I pushed around like, like anything. amusement parks everywhere. Yeah, yeah dude, you get like, you could use one of those scooters because you have access. your hands for the mobility scooters. Well, that's so if like, you can. Yeah, afford well, I mean, if you, I'd go wheelchair. I don't know. I just know that I'd rather not lose my people hands. People with wheelchairs, like in movies, usually have superpowers or something. You know, they make up for it. What's the best thing about your gender? <laughs> <laughs> it sucks being a guy. I can't do anything. I walk around campus, people look at me funny ways. They think I'm some some piece of meat. <laughs> just, it's dehumanizing. I, it really I, is. It's so difficult. I I'm not just a body. As a guy, what can you do in this guy? No one wants you. There's like way too many of us. True. Ugh. Oh, we, here we go. This? One that popped up is, what weird food combinations do you like? And I just want to take a second to say that uh, pineapples do in fact not belong on pizza. Thank okay, you. I was and if you like pineapples on your pizza, then you need to go somewhere else uh, because just that's just not X, okay. Click the X on the top right. I also I saw seen. on Twitter the other day that someone said, "Screw the pineapples, I got strawberries," and I yeah. probably, <laughs> I, I, like I thought about ending it right there. <laughs> I like when people quote that and they're like, I "I'm calling the police." <laughs> like, I hope it was worth it because the police are on their way. <laughs> All right, so I think that does it for uh, Culture Cast Two. Also, I just want to say, if anyone out there watching this goes to Radford and is good at physics, please drop a comment please. let me know because I am in dire need. Seriously, thank you guys for watching. Like, it means a lot. Um, I know, like, the only people who watch right now are, like, family and friends, but if make you, it global. If just I post please, this on Facebook, all it takes, or if you post this on Facebook or Twitter or somewhere where you can retweet or repost it, just, 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 just repost it. Hit share. It. It's the easiest thing in the world. Rachel Pilkington, you share food videos, and then you toss CultureCast a like. Yeah, like, it hurts what is so that? much. We got to give a shout out to Rafford on camera for you know, allowing us to do this, giving us an outlet sticking to post. with us. <laughs> Shocking <laughs> that we were allowed to do a second installment. When I sent this video in, we were just praying. No, people, people said they liked it. Um, we got a spin-off podcast that has fifteen thousand views, <laughs> so that's doing well. If it's anything like the last time, we'll see y'all in a month. Yep. Bye, guys.